there are a few concerns that the that I am seeing in in the comments recently in regards to the most recent videos. In a box, what's going on, bro? Yeah, so there are some concerns that the 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 player base is, is having in regards to the upcoming medical gameplay. And I feel um these are real concerns. I feel that these are valid concerns. Now before we proceed, I want to do a high level on um, there are four, four concerns that were laid out by the community through the comments. And um, I'm going to lay them out real quick on a high level. And then we're going to go into each topic, each each concern. And we're going to discuss about each concern. All right. So the very first concern is the fact that players feel the community feels that Star Citizen right now is too buggy in order for them to bring in the medical gameplay and it may ruin the current experience. All right? That's concern number one. Concern number two is this is going to be the medical gameplay is going to give more advantage or more power to griefers and trolls to further elaborate on their griefing and trolling <laughs> all right um thirdly thirdly the third concern is too much power to pirates right there's too much power being given over to pirates who will engage you and have too much control over your progression in the game knowing that permadeath may be coming in right and fourth is the timing issue for casual players right so these are the four key topics that i kind of want to discuss and these are real concerns um even from my perspective i feel like they are uh concerns that um initially i did did um have you know so um so let's discuss about it let's talk about it right the very first topic is the game is too buggy the medical game play feature can ruin the experience i completely agree it can i can completely i i completely agree that it may ruin the experience me for example star citizen is one of the few outlets i have um, to be able to de-stress, relax, and be in my own element, and to be able to hang out with you guys and play with you guys, and uh, not worry about the stress and the, the 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 worries of the world in terms of work, family, um, everything out there, right? So because of that, you have a limited. Um, so because of that, right now there isn't really any other games out there that we enjoy as much as Star Citizen, and I agree with that. So um with that being said what i feel is yes star citizen is an amazing game even though it's heavily early in its development it's an alpha but we still have to remember that it's an alpha right it's not a final product right and we have to consider the fact that when this game was pitched there were some key features that they did mention on its initial pitch medical gameplay is one of them right so now we have to understand that as this feature is coming in we have to embrace it and that we are an extension of the qa um department of cig we're helping um with finding bugs um as alpha testers we are firstly alpha testers and yeah we do enjoy the game but our main priority is the fact that we're alpha testers we have to consider that that the game is not really final yet right another key thing i want us to consider is this is an opportunity to help cig through these bugs and to get the feature to a plate to, to a place where it will work for all of us right this is a new feature that's coming in right we have a say 
to put it in a place where it will make sense for us instead of CIG doing something that they feel we'll like and then getting it as a final product and we don't like it and then people stop playing it. We right now, they're going to bring this in and we're going to assess it. We're going to see this is what we like, this is what we don't like. And they're, they're going to find a middle ground that will work for everybody that will make sense. Right? Our opinion matters and there isn't many games out there. I don't think there's any game out there that's allowing the player base to have so much power. So we have to also consider that. So those are my thoughts in terms of the fact that it's buggy. Yeah, it's buggy. We're testing it, right? We're testing it right now. The game is buggy simply because of server issues. Server meshing is coming in very soon. iCache is coming in very soon. A lot of the bugs that we're facing right now are going to be fixed very soon and it's not dependent on the feature teams the feature teams is just trying to get in the gameplay while the networking teams are still working on these 30ks that we're facing every day right so we have to also put all those things into consideration right so that's the first topic that i wanted to cover I think it's a cool concept. It sounds like there is potential. Absolutely. I think there is a lot of potential with the medical gameplay, right? So now the second thing that we want to talk about is griefers and trolls. All right. So my um, God class says my biggest question is not for the current implementation, but rather the future iteration. How will medical gameplay get more complex because right now there is no skill in it as of this implementation absolutely Eduardo, what's going on how you doing bro absolutely it is um we don't know that's the thing we don't know and we know for a fact let's let's take into consideration how the mining mechanic is right now how in-depth the mining mechanic is and the fact that it's not even complete but I don't know any other gameplay mechanic where it's, it's as in-depth as the man, mining mechanic. And I feel that it's going to be the same thing for salvage. And it's going to be the same thing for medical gameplay. This is just the first step. I see CIG making this thing. I see Chris Roberts wanting this thing to be in-depth in such a way that there will be players that will want to just focus on this career. And it will be skill-based. This is just the first step of it this is just the first step of it so i'm not worried about the future iterations i know it's going to be in-depth eventually right but this is the first step all right so griefers and trolls so now before we move forward right i want to set this premise and i'm hoping cig will understand and take this into consideration so medical gameplay is coming in with medical gameplay looting is coming in personal inventory is coming in they're all going to be connected and the fact that you can lose items in game so in 315 if you die somebody kills you they can loot your body and take your stuff right so with that being said, a lot of the players are concerned that they don't want to lose. They don't like the fact that they can lose all their stuff. And um, there are there are players out there that will grief them in relation to that. Let me let me move this real quick for right. They're concerned that it's going to be given too much power to griefers and um, trolls right so what i want to say is this is what i hope cig considers which will also solve this and i think it'll find a healthy balance between um both sides i would say they should introduce the concept of low sec and high sec what i mean is cig should consider segmenting they should consider segmenting space let's say for example stanton the stanton space into high security space and low security space 
and risk and reward will be in place based on where you are. So if you're in low security space, you're taking high risk and the rewards are going to be a much greater than high security space. The profit is going to be in a low security space. So now with that premise, if, if you're a player, if you're a casual player and you want to, you know, just quickly hop in for an hour, you know, do a couple missions, you can do that in high security space. And let's say you run into somebody that's um, a pirate or you get killed, for example, in high security space, they should make it in such a way that if you die, let's say for by an NPC and another player doesn't find your body, you can respawn and not lose your gear. You get all your gear back. Right? You get all your gear back in high security space. But if you go into low security space, you have to understand that if you run into a player or if you get killed by an NPC, if you die, your gear is free for anybody to take. There's no insurance to get your gear back. So now, if you're hopping in as a casual player, you need to consider, what do I want to accomplish tonight? Do I have the time to go into low security space to get the higher rewards? Or do I just want to do a couple missions, have fun and just hop off within an hour? Then you do that in high security space. But if you have the time, if you're looking for um, high reward, I feel that if, you, if you're planning to go into low security space, you need to consider bringing, bringing a crew with you, maybe a friend, right? Also, consider prepping up. Bring a crew, have a person, have, have a guy in your crew that's a medic, have probably like two guys in your crew that's a medic. One guy that's heavily armed, heavily armored, and another guy that can do some recon and can be stealthy. And if you have a, a, a well um, cohesive group of guys that everybody and everybody have their role, you guys can watch each other's back in low security space. And as you go out there, you discover things, you find loot, you're going to be finding high quality loot, high valuable loot in low security space. And you can decide when you want to go into low security space. This is already implemented in um, EVE Online and it works very well. You know what I mean? It works very well. If you don't want to take on any risk, you stay in high sec and you make your money here and there. But when you know that you have a lot of time and you're willing to take on the risk, get a crew with you, go into low security. I think that will give a healthy balance between both sides of the coin. All right. Um, all right. God class says there are medical orgs focusing on medical gameplay. This is even more now with the update coming. Exactly. God class. Exactly. Right. If pirates are planning to be um, or griefers are planning to greet people then medical orgs or med guys that are in going to be in the medical field should be planning to counter that global what's going on um are we going to have to do character reset every time i die to get back my bot um sub gear that's a good question um that's that's something that cig needs to also consider like sub gear i don't think you should lose sub gear because that would really suck you pay real money for it right so that's a that's that's another topic for real that's another topic um in my opinion losing items in your inventory um on your tomb on your tomb is part of getting killed my problem is time it would take to respawn so the time it will take to respawn um is is more so you have the option to kill yourself right to kill yourself and just respawn immediately if you're okay with losing your loot and if you're in, um, if they do consider what I'm, what I just pitched, if you do lose your stuff, 
right your body's still there and if it's not if you if you didn't die to players your body's still there you can just come back you know what i mean you can just come back and get your stuff but if you if you die to like actual player pirates to so just know that your stuff is most likely gone right um hmm god class says if a pirate wants to go somewhere though they should be able to the problem is pirates go to the players um so if the players are in high sec the pirates will be there yeah so that, that's another thing that cig also needs to resolve is also the current um what do you call it the current security in the in in the the security right now currently in star citizen is not good for example um Olisar. if a pirate wants to just ravage Olisar, he can do it by himself the turrets need i think it is, could be related to server issues but the turrets should be dangerously deadly but they're not they don't hit if they make the turrets dangerous and powerful then that will resolve that and the fact that even for example right now in eve online if you're in high security space and somebody engages you npc npc security will show up immediately almost immediately and i annihilate the pirate so they need to resolve that issue i think the issue is server issue they need to be able to have crusader security or hearson security to be able to hop in immediately and stomp on them if they engage you in high security space but if you go into low security space then it's fair game you know what i mean so i think that's a, a survey issue really water down rust i see what you mean but i think a lot of a lot of the issues that could resolve it is going to be um survey issues survey issues yeah you go somewhere you might get um countered that's just the reality of game bring more people or learn how to avoid exactly learn learn how to fly your ship in stealth mode turn off turn off your components right turn off your components turn off shields if you don't need it turn off um your q drive if you don't need it right lower your signature that way you can just slip by the pirates you know what i mean so I feel like a lot of the concerns we have we can resolve it even right now we can we can we can counter it right jarko what's going on um we won't currently lose our paid for items or subscriber stuff it will always be available in your hangar yeah exactly there may be some cost for losing it yeah so i hope that's that's the case for for this stuff all right All right, so let's move on to the third, the third part, right? The third concern, too much power to pirates, too much power to pirates. All right, so right now I heard that pirate or organizations right now are planning on using the downstate scenario to, um, to in a sense, hold players to, um, as hostages in order to attract medics and also kill the medics to get their gear as well right so if they find a player for example and they know that they have good gear and that player doesn't want to lose their gear they will down them keep them while medics come and then they will wait for the medics to show up and then they also kill the medics and take the medics gear as well all right so that's a good concern but what i would say is what you should also cons consider is medical gameplay is coming in if you're a, a player right if you're a player that is going out to the to do missions or to do exploration understand the risk that you're taking don't take anything out you're not willing to lose if you're taking gear out Good to see you, Jarko. If you're taking gear out, no, already think that it's gone. Already think that it's gone. 
right? If you're taking gear out, we have that mentality. They have that perfectly um, working in Escape from Tarkov, right? You know that you go into a raid, you may not come out with your gear, right? If you're not willing to lose it, don't take it out. Number two. What we also need to cons consider is if pirates are planning to do these things, what are you going to do as a player? What are you going to do as a medic? Right? For example, one of you guys just said that the medical organizations um, are planning ways um, to engage this whole scenario. So yeah, as a medic organization, if the pirates are planning to hold players hostage, what are you going to do as an organization? How are you going to counter that? How are you going to counter that? Bring more guys. Um, have a, um, a recon a recon ship that fly in, in stealth mode and scan out the whole area before the medics actually fly in. Take me Actually have combat trained medics as well as regular medics that will go in with the medics. Right. So these are things that you need to consider. We got to we got to plan things out as we go. We got to make sure there's security. You know what I mean? I feel like it's an opportunity for us to start thinking about ways because pirate organizations, they're really man. They don't have much to do in the game, but they're making it happen. They're organizing. They're organizing themselves. So what are we doing? You know what I mean? What are we doing? All right. Um bait to kill isn't new exactly exactly what could also happen when uh meshing comes um when meshing comes online players might get moved to servers with higher skill level like they could try and put in stealth rank um stealth rank system that moves players they could they could arcade they could um i know that they mentioned something like that where if you want to you know if you want to be more of a pvp oriented player you they could do something like that where there's a less of a chance for you to run into other players um i know that they, they did discuss that so um but I, I feel like that's further down the line though you could fear you should fear pirates i mean come on they are pirates and come on it's it is a possibility in other games. Traps are common. The medics will be armed or will come with escorts. Take gear you need. Don't take your thick loot. Exactly. 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 If pirates are planning something, you, sh you, should, you should also be planning. That's just how I feel about that. CIG needs to have a system of social engineering.